A very good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued decree number 43 for the year 2017, appointing Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa as extraordinary and plenipotentiary ambassador for Bahrain to the United States of America. The Minister of Foreign Affairs will implement the decree, which comes into effect from the date of its issuance and will be published in the official gazette. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit yesterday to the Majlis of the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King exchanged good wishes, marking the last 10 days of Ramadan. He highlighted the principles of cooperation and fraternity amongst Bahraini people under national unity and Islamic values. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain will always remain a homeland of security and stability, where people live according to the principles of tolerance, unity and a one-family spirit. Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa expressed appreciation for His Majesty's visit that underlined his interest in communicating with Bahraini citizens throughout the holy month of Ramadan. He wished His Majesty the King good health and happiness to continue leading the reform and development process.
His Majesty the King also paid a visit yesterday evening to the Majlis of the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King exchanged greetings with the attendees, marking the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan. He wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity, sending them many happy returns. His Majesty highlighted the importance of promoting cohesion between Bahraini people during the holy month of Ramadan. He noted the Blessed Ramadan Majlises as an example of Bahrain's heritage that should be preserved and passed on to future generations. He attached great importance to Ramadan Majlises for their vital role in enhancing and disseminating values of cohesion, harmony and a one family spirit amongst Bahraini citizens. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed sincere gratitude to His Majesty the King for visiting his Ramadan Majlis, saying that the attendees were honoured by the visit. His Majesty the King also paid a visit yesterday evening to the Majlis of the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and exchanged with him good wishes, marking the last 10 days of Ramadan. 
His Majesty the King highlighted that Bahrain's long-standing national values and traditions are built upon the principle of pluralism. For his part, the BDF Commander-in-Chief expressed his gratitude for His Majesty's visit and highlighted his eagerness to take part in Ramadan visits across the kingdom. And His Majesty the King paid a visit yesterday evening to the Majlis of Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman al Khalifa and exchanged with him good wishes marking the last 10 days of Ramadan. For his part, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman al Khalifa expressed his gratitude for His Majesty's visit and wished him abundant health.
personal representative of His Majesty the King, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, arrived yesterday in the Serbian capital, Belgrade, on an official visit on behalf of His Majesty the King to attend the inauguration ceremony of Serbia's new president, Aleksandr Vucic. Upon His Highness Sheikh Abdullah's arrival, he was received by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Trade, Tourism and Telecommunications, Rasim Jajic, and a number of Serbian officials. An official welcoming ceremony was held for His Highness Sheikh Abdullah, where the Guards of Honour lined up to greet him and shook hands with a number of senior officials. His Highness is accompanied by an official delegation and a media delegation. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah conveyed to the Serbian President the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty the King, as well as his wishes of progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah also congratulated the President, wishing him success. The Serbian President asked His Highness Sheikh Abdullah to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and his wishes of development to Bahrain and his people. He also expressed thanks and appreciation for his attendance and kind sentiments. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah took a commemorative photograph with the new Serbian President, which was followed by a speech by President Alexander. His Highness and the attendees took in cultural performances and songs performed by students in celebration of the new President's inauguration. He also took a tour of the palace, which featured historical and modern paintings that represent Serbia's old and modern history. A number of world presidents, dignitaries and invitees also participated in the inauguration ceremony. In response to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's directives to reduce traffic congestion across the kingdom, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Essam bin Abdullah Khalaf, confirmed that the new Sar Southern Entrance Road from Sheikh Issa bin Salman Highway has been opened. The project, which comprises a new lane on Avenue 27, along with ramps entering and exiting Sheikh Issa bin Salman Highway, is expected to increase capacity by 40%, easing access to nearby residential areas and shopping malls. The minister said that the project is one of a larger $1.2 billion master plan designed to ease traffic congestion at 11 locations. Consistent with the directives of His Royal Highness, the minister affirmed that the ministry submitted a series of projects for review by the executive committee, which has subsequently approved 11 urgent projects. The Sara Southern Entrance Road is one of several projects financed by the GCC Development Programme to be implemented within three to five years. The comprehensive planning process has been implemented to ensure the Kingdom's strategic road network is able to accommodate increased urban expansion. The Moon Sighting Committee will meet today, the 24th of June, corresponding to Ramadan 29th, at the Supreme Islamic Affairs Council premises to receive reports of the Shawal Moon that will confirm the advent of Eid al-Fitr. Council, the Council issued a statement in which it urged the public to diligently observe the tentatively anticipated birth of the new crescent moon, the first of Shawal 1438 Hijra, and to immediately report it by calling the committee to confirm the advent of Eid al-Fitr. The Council extended congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Royal Family and the people of Bahrain, as well as all Muslims around the world. The Kingdom of Bahrain condemns in the strongest, utmost terms the evil terrorist plan which targeted the Holy Mosque, Umrah and prayer performers, affirming that this heinous terrorist act is contrary to all religious, moral and human values. Bahrain highly values the noble role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, in providing all means of comfort to pilgrims, Umrah performers and visitors, and praises the great efforts of the security forces who thwarted this cowardly, cowardly terrorist plan. Meanwhile, it asserts that it has been standing with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and will continue to do so in support of its leading role to reinforce regional and international peace and security, vowing total support for whatever measures it takes to eradicate terrorist organizations. The Kingdom of Bahrain affirms anew its unwavering stance in rejection of terrorism, calling for consolidated global cooperation to eliminate terrorism, which poses a serious threat to all world peoples without discrimination, and the need to rid the world of this dangerous epidemic, its supporters and its funders. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs issued a statement today in which it also condemned, in the strongest utmost terms, the terrorist plan which targeted the Holy Mosque, Umrah and prayer performers, which was a flagrant violation of sacred Islamic rituals. The statement praised the Saudi security body's role in thwarting the terrorist act, hailing the role of Saudi Arabia under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, 
in providing all means of comfort to pilgrims, UMRAH performers and visitors, and praised the great efforts of the security forces who thwarted this cowardly terrorist plan.